part two of week one, Overwatch League Overwatch League predictions for stage number two. So last week I was I went three zero on the first day, I was spot on. The second day though, I only got one right. Uh, the the uh, Outlaws beat the Spitfire, which I didn't predict, and then the uh, Fusion beat the um, Uprising, which I also did not think was going to happen. All right, so. Um, I'd say there weren't a whole lot of shocks the uh, um, the last couple days. I mean, Spitfire beat the Spitfire losing to the Outlaws was a little surprising to some, but um, I mean the Outlaws are a very good team, so it's not too surprising. So, going into the first match of today, speaking of the Spitfire, it's them <coughs> playing against the Excelsior on Volskaya Industries, then Lijiang Tower, Kings Row. Uh, and they're going to finish off with Watchpoint Gibraltar. So, I don't know. Excelsior, they didn't have um, in their match yesterday against the Florida Mayhem, they did not have um, one of their main supports. They didn't have Ark, who is their Mercy in Stage 1. They'll probably be playing Lucio, uh, Moira, some Anna for this stage. They did not have him, apparently, and there's an illness of some kind, so he probably won't play today. Um, unless it got way better. Uh, so if he does not play today, I th I think the Spitfire are going to win this one. Um, they're at 7-4 and four right now. I think that they kind of need to win this game. They're three games behind the Excelsior. If they lose this, they'd be four. Um, and they'd, they'd be down to 7-5. and five, And then, yeah, I don't think that's a position they want to be in. So I think they're going to come out with a lot of energy, a lot of fire. Um, and if the Excelsior, I mean, they they've been running... The last match they ran uh, Mono, who was one of their main tanks. They ran him as a healer. He was pretty much playing Lucio and some some uh, Anna or Anna. So, I mean, if they if they keep up with that, uh, their other support is Jay Jonak, who is an incredibly good Zenyatta, but he's more of like a damage Zenyatta. He does the most damage in the league easily, but um, his healing isn't as high as some of the others, as some of the other Zenyattas. So, um. I think I think that the Spitfire definitely have an edge if uh, the Excelsior don't have Arc, and I think they'll I think they'll take it in four. Uh, I think oh, they'll take it in four. I think they'll win three to one. Um, we'll see. If I mean if Arc plays, then it's probably a whole different ball game, and it could go either way. But um, I I like the Spitfire. I don't see them losing a, a, a second game in a row. So moving on to the second matchup. My LA Gladiators are hosting the Dallas Fuel. So these two teams played in week uh, five. They were that was the last game that they they each played of, of stage one, and the Fuel won three to one. Um, the Fuel have won three games and three matches in a row. They're now four and seven. Um, the Gladiators they started out two and one, then they lost like three in a row, and then they've kind of been back and forth ever since. Uh, they're at five and six right now. They looked a lot better in their last match. Uh, with the addition of Fissure has seemed to already paid off. Uh, big, I really like what I've been seeing out of them. Um, he's just, he's an incredibly good Winston. Um, I'd like to see him more on Reinhardt as well. He's a very, very good Reinhardt as well. And I like seeing Reinhardt play. So that would be sweet. Um, I don't think I said the maps they're going to be on. So they're going to be on Hanamura, Lijang Tower, Kings Row, and then Watchpoint Gibraltar. So, um, both of these teams won their first match of Stage 2. The Gladiators uh, beat the Shock 4-0 to zero, pretty convincingly. Um, and then the Fuel defeated the Dragons for the second time in two weeks. Uh, they beat them 3-1. to one. So, I'm going to go with the Gladiators in this one. Um, the Fuel did beat them last week. Um, I think that they even did it without their best player effect. But um, the Gladiators, they seem a lot more confident now. Um, I think Fissure makes a huge difference to the team. I think they're a team that can now fight for a playoff spot. Um, but I, this will be a good test for the Gladiators. Um, we beat, kind of beat up on the Shock. Uh, the, fir the first map was close. The first map was definitely close. Um, and then the, se the second map, the Shock cut off to a good start. But then like the second half, we kind of blew them out. So 
I think the fuel are definitely better than the shock, so this will be a good test for the Gladiators. Um, it's also very important because if, if the fuel win, the, these two teams will be tied in record, overall record-wise. I think the fuel have a better map differential as of right now. So uh, this is a very important matchup for the Gladiators. If they want to start, they're in eighth right now, if they want to start moving up, it's a big one to win. But it's, it's the same thing for the fuel. Uh, they've won three in a row, they got momentum on their side. Uh, winning uh, another one here would put them at five and seven, and considering how bad of a start they got off to, that'd be pretty huge for them. Um, so yeah, th this one could go either way. Um, I like what I saw from the Gladiators on Hanamura, though. Um, I think they can. I think they can be. They can run uh, a lot of different comps on Li Zhang, which gives them uh, a good chance. King's Row will be really interesting. Um, the Gladiators looked really good on King's Row. Like they, that's the one where they just absolutely destroy the shock. They scored. They scored the payload with like three, with almost four minutes left. So they look very good on that. Um, watch Point is the last one that they're going to be on. I don't remember if the Gladiators finished on Watch Point. I think that yeah, they did, and they they won that game as well. Um, they didn't look as good on that one, but they didn't look bad. So, um, we'll see. I still don't think the fuel are quite back to what they used to be. Um, I mean, the, the Dragons gave them a pretty decent fight. Um, I didn't watch that whole thing, but it did go down. It was decently close on um, Route 66, and the Dragons did win the third map. So, we'll see. I think the Gladiators will take it 3-1. to one. Um, I don't think they're going to lose to the fuel twice. Um... They're, it's just when they played them last week or two, three weeks ago now, um, I, their communication just seemed really off. Um, they didn't seem to be playing as a team at all. And uh, even with Fisher being a new um, member of the team, they looked they looked pretty good last week um, or two days ago. They their main issues I'd say were um, there were some bad alts by some players. Um, some alt like some alt economy didn't go that great, but. Um, just gameplay wise and like playing as a team they looked very good so I am excited for that matchup it should be a good one uh, two teams that are looking to move up in the standings but I got the gladiators I'm a little bit of a homer I'm a lot bit of homer I mean I've, I've picked them I picked them a lot of games in a row now but um yeah got them going up three to one then the third match of the day we got the three and eight San Fran shock visiting the eight and three Seoul Dynasty they're playing on Hanamura, Li Zhang, Hollywood, and then Watch Point Gibraltar. So this one I think will be an absolute blowout. Um, the Shock, they these two teams again, they played in week in week five. All the teams that are playing each other this week played each other um, in the final week of stage one. So the Shock uh, forced a game five. They were very close. They almost beat the Dynasty. Um, everyone was extremely shocked at that because you know sorry for the pun I didn't even I didn't even intend that one um but the the dynasty are a way better team like in every sense of the word they're way better it should that match should not have been close the dynasty look way better now they destroyed the valiant um who had the same record as them who beat them in stage one the, the dynasty destroyed them they took them apart uh two days ago so I think that the dynasty are way better now because the meta the meta shift I think that they are um they're hungry to retake their place like at number one because um, I think pretty much everyone right now would either have like the Spitfire at one because they won stage one or they'd have the Outlaws because they've beaten some really good teams like the Spitfire a couple times um, or or uh, the majority of people have like the Excelsior because they're 10 and one with the best record. Um, I think the Dynasty are like, whoa, 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 don't forget about us. We're here too. We're still insanely good. We're way better now because of these changes. We didn't really have a set Mercy player. Um, you can see Toby really struggled on Mercy, and now uh, he can play Lucio a lot more, and he's probably the best Lucio in the game. So, so uh, yeah, the Dynasty are really scary now. Um, I think they're going to do really well in Stage 2, and they're going to absolutely dismantle the Shock 4-0. All right. Moving on to Saturday, I'm going to go a little quicker on some of these. Um, I'm actually excited for this matchup, though. The, you got the 7-4 and four Philadelphia Fusion visiting the 1-10 Florida Mayhem. They're going to be playing on Hanamura again, uh, Nepal, Hollywood, and then finishing up on Watchpoint. So 
the the Mayhem played the Excelsior uh, yesterday, and they performed pretty well. Um, I think they're definitely better than they were in stage one. I think that the not having Mercy nearly as uh, common in the meta is good for them. It's good for a lot of teams, but I think they're one of the teams that benefits the most. Um, we haven't seen any of the people that they've signed yet. Uh, they still ran their same lineup yesterday, so it'll be interesting to see if they uh, pull out anyone new today um, or tomorrow. The Fusion are coming off a big win. Um, they didn't play Shadowburn at all, their star Genji player. They played uh, EQO on Genji instead, one of their uh, backup DPSs, and he played really well. He played very well. I was impressed. Um, he just stepped right in, and I don't think he... I don't think he's as good as Shadowburn, but he definitely played well enough to warrant being in the lineup that that day. Um, and they beat the Uprising pretty convincingly, like really convincingly actually. Um, after last, after at the end of stage one, the Uprising destroyed them 4-0. So I think that's a huge step in the right direction for the Fusion. Um, I think they're up to sixth place now, so they'd be in the playoffs. Um, I think they're going to be a scary team with this meta. I think stage two will be a good uh, time for them to really start to move up in the standings. Um, I think the Mayhem, like I said, are a lot better. I think they're going to win more. I think they're going to win a couple of matches this stage. I don't think they're going to go 1-9 and nine again. But that being said, I don't think they're going to beat the Fusion. Um, the Fusion looked really impressive, like uh, especially on um, Hanamura. They looked extremely good. So I've got, I've got the Fusion winning this one 3-1, to one, but I think the Mayhem will keep it competitive. On most of the maps, I think Hanamura will probably be might be a blowout. Um, but other than that, I could I could see some of these going uh, going the distance. So uh, got the fusion up in that one, three to one. But uh, Mayhem fans, uh, there's I'd say there's hope now. There's definitely some hope. Your team's been playing a lot better. All right, then we have the Boston Uprising facing off against the Houston Outlaws. This one. Whew. Well, you got the Uprising coming off probably their worst performance, at least in a long time. Um, they fell to 6-5 and five after their loss to the Fusion. They did not look very good um, that whole that whole uh, match, pretty much, except on uh, Watchpoint, the fourth map. And then you have the Outlaws, who defeated the Spitfire 3-2. to two. Um, That was pretty impressive for them. Uh, they think the Outlaws definitely showed that they... Having Mercy out of the meta does not hurt them. I don't think they're that much better because of Mercy being out, but I don't think they're worse either. I think they're kind of like a in the middle team. That it's like, yeah, that, that's fine. They can they can do other stuff. Um, so with the maps that they have, Hanamura, Li Zhang, King's Row, and Watchpoint, I think that these are very much in the Outlaws' favor. I think the Outlaws take game one with a relative ease. Uh, Uprising did not look very good on Hanamura. They got trounced by the Fusion on that one. And so I think the Outlaws take game one. Then game two, actually, I like the Uprising. I think they're going to really fight back and uh, try to bounce back from their bad performance yesterday. And they're going to tie it up one to one. Then I think the Outlaws are going to take game three. They'll, they look very strong on it. Um, I actually think the Boston Uprising will take game four, though. I think this one goes to five. I think the Outlaws win in five. Um, with the with these maps, I really like games one and three for the Outlaws, but uh, Uprising looks pretty good on map four. And um, they've been good on Li Zhang all year. So I think that it's a good... It, this is a good series for the Uprising to be able to push it to five. But in five, on Elios, I think the Outlaws win. Um... But if it does go to five, it could go either way because the Uprising have been good on King of the Hill, and that's probably been the Outlaws' weakest map type. So if you're an Outlaws fan, you want a three-one victory here. You don't want it to go to five or a four-all. <laughs> but um, I think the I think the Uprising will uh, they'll respond. If they don't, if they get crushed by the Outlaws, I think Uprising fans should be worried. Um, with this meta shift, maybe maybe it's coming back to bite them. Maybe they're one of the teams that really. Uh, hurts from this change so we shall see that one that one will be fun to watch I think and then our last match of the week it's the dragons looking for their first win playing against the valiant I'm not gonna talk about this one too much I think the valiant win I think they're gonna win pretty easily um, they got 
kind of ham they got hammered by the dynasty. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So the Dragons, I really want them to get that first win. I just don't think it happens this week. Uh, maybe next week. I think they they play the uh, the Gladiators next week, which is which is the game I'll be nervous for because I'm always nervous with the Gladiator games. But um, they're on Hanamura, Lijiang Tower, Kings Row, and then Watch Point Gibraltar. So uh, I didn't really watch. I watched a couple maps that the Valiant played. Um, I watched like one and a half of the Dragons played, so I don't really know much about like how they're going to do on how they like these maps. Um, I don't know the availability of the Shang of Shanghai's new players. None of them played two days ago, so maybe they don't play yet. But um, the Dragons, I think they're going to keep this one actually close. I think it'll be three to one in, uh, in favor of the Valiant, but the Dragons will put up a pretty good fight. Um, they they're a team that. It's just, I think they they got a little better last week. Um, I heard and like saw some of uh, Dia's play, and he was playing very well, more like uh, they envisioned him playing at the start of the year. Um, so with with him kind of bringing it back and uh, performing more like he can, rather than um, his not so great performances in stage one. I think that they're a much improved team when they get their when they get their uh, reinforcements in. I think that this team could definitely win some matches. But uh, sorry, not this week, Shanghai. You gotta wait another one. You're gonna be on 12. Sorry. Think no way the Valiant lose two in a row, especially after that drubbing that they suffered from the dynasty. All right. So that's uh, Friday and Saturday. I was very happy watching. Um, these first two days, I really enjoyed it. Hopefully, uh, if any of you watched it, you enjoyed it as well. Um, seeing different comps has been absolutely great for me. And uh, I'll see you in the very next video.